Oh my God. I've been waiting for a day like this for so long. Ryan Ellis is a Philadelphia Flyer. That is such a, a amazing thing to say. I absolutely love the fact that the Flyers got Ryan Ellis. Um, it is a little... I was a little bummed out, though, because they did give up on Myers and Patrick. Um, two guys I really wish would have worked out here, especially Patrick. Uh, Myers is one, but especially Patty, because everybody knows how much I went to bat for him. Um, but it was pretty clear he didn't want to be here um, since he's, you know, been traded. Um, but so essentially at 318, uh, it was a quote tweet from Elliot Freeman. Um, Frank Cervelli, he tweeted out a 316 hearing Ryan Ellis has been traded to Philadelphia. Elliot Freeman, quote tweets it, puts Ellis to Philadelphia for Phil Myers and Nolan Patrick. And then Patrick is going to Vegas for Cody Glass. So essentially it's Ellis to the Flyers, Myers and Cody Glass to Nashville, and then Nolan Patrick to Vegas. One thing I will say is all four of these players have dealt with some sort of injury. Um, you know, you could say literally anything uh, about any of these guys with their injury, but all four of them have dealt with some sort of an injury that kept them out for a good amount of time or, or they were kind of banged up or kind of played through injury, whatever. Um, that is one thing that is a concern for Ellis. Um, now, Provorov has a number one partner. Now it makes you start to think of a bunch of things that could happen with the Flyers. Um, since they get rid of uh, Myers and Patrick, that now has an open spot for a forward for, you know, Seattle expansion protection list and kind of just takes out Myers, you put Ellis in. So now the three defense were most likely going to be Provorov, Ellis, and Sandheim, right? Then you have to keep in mind uh, that other forward. Who could it be? Could it be Voracek? I don't know. They've already openly came out and said that they're not going to protect Jake. So who knows? Um, I think they still could, but I don't know. Um, could it be JVR? I have no idea. Maybe Albe Kubel? Who the hell knows? Uh, it's really, really concerning because I don't necessarily know who it would be. There's, There's been a bunch of trades today. Twitter's been kind of breaking. Um, Jared McCann is now a Leaf. Got traded from the Penguins to the Leafs. Um, Barkley Goodrow goes to the Rangers for a really a cheap kind of thing. But then again, um, th this is this is kind of the thing with the with the trade. I mean, one thing you can look at this trade that the Flyers they still have their first round pick. Um, they still have Morgan Frost. I know there's been talks of you know Frost getting traded. I never thought it would happen. But as for Ellis and his contract, I mean, he's got another six years at six point two five. Um, really good contract for the next handful of years for the rest of his career. Um, he is. 30 years old again he's a right-handed shooting mobile defenseman can play literally any situation um so that is something you do want to keep in mind there uh for ellis again it's a great fit because ellis is a great player we've talked about him before um bill Meltzer had a tweet here that says the trade is myers uh phil myers and Owen patrick for ellis uh health is a concern but ellis can have an impact um, which is akin to uh, a right-handed version of Kimo Timonen acquisition in 2007. He'll play all situations and instantly become part of the leadership group. That's a great point. Um, obviously, the injury thing I talked about, but again, um, Ellis coming to the Flyers is something, again, the Flyers, they got their number one D. That's something they needed. Now you kind of added another hole because you got rid of Myers. So now you have to try to go it. It makes me think if they go out for another defenseman now, um, but I don't know. I mean, listen, I like the trade. I think the Flyers definitely, it's it, it, it's not that they gave up too much. It just, it sucks that it just didn't work out with those guys because I think we really could have seen some great things here from guys like Patrick um, and guys like Myers. But again, um, the Flyers got their, they got their guy and they, and they would have had to have given up probably more if they went for Seth Jones. Um, so again, I didn't think Jones was gonna stay here or was gonna resign here or, you know, extend here, excuse me. Um, but again, for the most part, I think it's a good trade for the Flyers. Um, yeah, so, you know, again, it is, uh, it just really makes me think what's going to happen with Seattle now. I don't know what forward they protect unless they make another trade, but they still have their first round pick. I, I think they're, they're going to draft now, if I'm being honest with you, um, because I figured that would had to have gone in some sort of trade if they were going to go for a defenseman, but they didn't. Um, so now they still have their pick. They still have, you know, the handful of prospects. Um, I really hope Patrick is able to, to rebound um, in Vegas. I think that's going to be a good spot for him. Um, I, I really wish Meyer's success in Nashville, too, because those are two guys I really did like here. 
Um, and again, I think those guys are going to be great NHL players, and I really hope you know it, it, it uh, really works out for those guys. But let me know your guys' thoughts below. Ryan Ellis is a Philadelphia Flyer. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.